Welcome to Mimi's Sketchbook. Today we are going to be painting the sweet little bunny girl offering up a flower as a gift. And let's get going. Well, hello, and we are going to draw a bunny for Easter. And we're going to make this a cute bunny. We're going to start about two thirds of the way up for the head. And I'm going to make a sort of triangle. Not a perfect triangle. You can make the sides go in, make the sides go out, whatever you like. I'm going to taper it down a little bit like this and this and add some ears, some exaggerated ears. So, see the triangle here? So, oh, it looks like a carrot. I'm going to bring that up and bring this down. So we've got a couple of exaggerated ears. And they don't have to be perfect. They can be round or oval or can make them a little closer or whatever, but we got two ears and a face. And I'm just gonna clean that up a little bit for you. All right, and if this is about halfway down, I'm gonna put the eyes more out to the sides than in the middle. Space them out. And then let's put this tiny little, just a V and the little, like a Y. Y, a Y, right there. Just make it so cute. Okay, and then we need another V, upside down triangle, or upside down V. And, um, be rounded or however. I'm going to fix it a little bit. And square it off, round it off. There's our body. Not a real bunny shape, but we can tell it's a bunny, right? And now I'm going to make another V. See the V upside down? Now this triangle V this way. We use triangles a lot in drawing and in our body shapes and animal shapes. So now I'm going to, here's center, and from center I'm going to bring down one leg. Oh, there's another V. V, 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 W. There's that. And let's put on some shoes. These will be like clogs. And here's another shoe. We'll, we won't make them exactly the same. Make them look like one is pointing one way and one's pointing the other way, maybe. Put that out this way a little bit more. Okay, so this is kind of a trapezoid, that's kind of a trapezoid. One that side and one back a little bit and pointing this way. So here's our body. And so we have to decide what our girl is going to do. So I am going to have her hands meeting in the middle. So I'm just going to kind of have them overlapping each other here and just make a kind of another trapezoid shape here. And her, her arm is going to come out. And we've got to meet an elbow. This one's got to come in. So we've got kind of a, see the triangle here? 
circles. See this? There's out, there's a triangle. It meets the upper part of the arm. And on this side, maybe I'll erase it. The elbow comes out like that. I'm just gonna pull it up. And there, do you see the triangle? came all the way out it would look like this a triangle and attached to the top part of the arm so this I'm just gonna erase that okay and she is going to be holding a beautiful flower one single flower here she have a long exaggerated stem maybe we could put some little leaves like that. Over here a bit more. So it shows up. Just kind of one a, a gift. Her humble little gift bringing this flower to you. And just that simple. Just that simple little message. So I am going to outline her in, I have uh, Prismacolor pencils, and this is a Sienna Brown. And just to make it soft, because she's just such a soft little character, I'm going to go over this just softly with the Sienna Brown, the outline. Only the lines that I want to keep. And I'm going to the, do that with the fur, but with the rest of, with her eyes and her nose, I'm going to use um, some black. Now, it takes a lot of work to erase a Prismacolor pencil because they have a lot of uh, wax in them. If you've ever tried to remove wax, you know it is not an easy thing to do. Now if you want to, you could outline this in marker, but I want to do the fur, just make the fur look a little soft. So I'm just... Uh, doing it in the pencil. So for the flower, well, let's start with the eyes. I'm going to do the eyes and keep it, keep it the same and use the Prismacolor pencil. And I'm going to do the flower Turn it this way. Just simple little petals. No, just keep it really simple. And the shoes. And the shoes here. Alrighty. Now I'm going to paint my bunny. I want the flower to really show up. So I'm going to paint my bunny a neutral color. I'm going to start with a, a brown, one of the many browns that there are. I'm going to add a little bit of black to it and just kind of really soften it. And I'm going to leave some areas white. So here's, and you know what we could have done now that I look at this. 
we could have put a little dress on her. What was I thinking? This poor sweet girl needs a little skirt. Next time. Next time. There's always a next time with these nice little sketches. It never becomes such a big to-do to do it again because these are quick and fast, cute. The more you do them, the more comfortable you get. I'm going to just well, that's wet. I'm just going to grab a little pink and let it just blush in there. And I'm going to just wet the ears a little bit and get a little more of that pink. And I, want it. I just want it very subtle. This is just a soft, I want it to be a soft picture. I need to pull that cover down. And I can because it's still wet. I can adjust it a little bit. I'm just going to darken it up so this flowers. And I'm going to leave this tummy. White. But what I'm going to do is just go around the edges with some clear water and soften it so it's not so hard. It's not such a hard white. Just a little suggestion of a white. And I've left white right here. So we need to, let's put in some shoes and what color shoes do girls like? Pink, of course. This is a little girl. So here's going to be her pink shoes and also do a pink flower but of course you can choose whatever color you like and I'm just I'm holding my brush up and just so I can get that in there fill it in Now, she is um, kind of all by herself here. What are some things that we could do? We could put in a, some grass right here around her feet and a couple of these little flowers here. We could do that and then put a little blue in for the sky, definitely could do that. It would be cute. Um, we could put a little border around this, like a little green border, just to soften it up. And I think I'm going to try that. I think that would be cute. So while this is drying, I'm going to just make a, like a vine border coming around. I'm just going to bring it up and I wish I had brought that there but oh well we'll figure something out and I'm just going to put some little suggestion of leaves
that was easy to do and you could make that for I think anybody would enjoy getting a cute little card that looked like a handmade card look like that the blue looks good pink that looks good which one do you like well that looks good too I don't think I like it as much that's mm, okay that's good and I think my favorite was the green for me so I might mount this one uh, the green okay Let's try another one. Okay, let's put some kind of a little dress on here, and let's uh, just bring it out a little bit further, then let's just go with this, keep it really simple, and she needs a little ruffle. And the stem, we're going to exaggerate the stem, and I'm going to bring it down like that. Okay, and we can put a couple of little less as it gets down here. And this is going to be like a little gift to whoever we are sending the card to. This is a little gift or for whatever special reason we're sending this to them. and the flower. So let's paint it in and I'm using my koi. This is a koi watercolor. It's 48 different colors and you can get that on Amazon if you go to below this video or in the blog you'll find a direct link to it. And if you have been wanting to give yourself a nice little gift and you like to paint, this is a super little gift to give yourself.
So I've got a bunch of colored cards here, all different colors, and it's nice to have a big variety of cards to choose from for the background. They always say a frame can make or break the picture. So let's just go through, and I do this every time I make a card, is to go through and see which colors I like the best. So that looks, that looks nice. It's very pretty and soft. Uh, I don't know, I don't care for that purple. It ages it, it makes it look old to me. That's pretty. Oh, I like that a lot. I like that a lot. And that's lovely too, but I think this is the winner for me. Which one did you like? Do you know there's no one right or wrong answer for choosing things and um, not for choosing the color either. It's absolutely personal preference and what enhances the picture. And I think just keeping it, um, that theme there the, that the flower pops out, um, this is the color for me. So that's what I'm gonna stick with. So I hope you enjoy doing this picture, this painting. Um, it's coming up Easter time, and this would be so sweet for an Easter gift or for um, maybe a baby shower for a little girl, a little girl birthday, whatever. It would be, I think, adorable. And if you don't have any cards to choose from, you don't know where to get cards, I hope you could see this. This is a set, it's called Craft Smith. There are 10 colors of cards, blank cards to choose from. And you can find that on Amazon. And I like these because this has a textured, a very slight textured surface and a white writing surface. If you've ever gotten one colored cards that they have a dark writing surface, I, I don't care for that myself. So I really like this. So it's on Amazon and you can, there's a link to it right in the blog. And I hope you um, enjoy doing this craft. So if you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up, share it, and especially try it. And if you can, try this with a child. Draw with a child. They have a ball drawing with adults. So thanks again for coming to Mimi's Sketchbook and come again. Bye.